Mr. Fishy. Hey, Mr. Fishy. Hey there, dudes and dudettes. How you groovy people been? Hope you guys have been moving and grooving since the last time we exercised. In today's episode with me, Fit Ben, we're gonna learn how to play some oh, soccer. <laughs> have you guys ever heard of it? Have you guys ever seen it? Well, if you haven't, it's a game that involves one black and white ball, a few players, two goals, and lots and lots of running. <laughs> but don't let me get ahead of myself. Before we figure out how this game is played, let's figure out where this little game came from first. Did you know that soccer has been around for thousands of years? That's right, people have been kicking this little ball around since the ancient times. But the game we know and love today rarely started to take shape and form in England during the 19th century. It was here that soccer, or football as some might call it across the pond, began to be played at its modern form. A group of clever folks got together and started to make some rules to make the game fair and exciting for everyone. Now though a bunch of groovy dudes came together to make the game, there was one individual to really stand out and bring the soccer name as we see it today. That man being a Charles W. Alcock. Mr. Alcock was a soccer player just like you see it today, but he helped put the groundwork, start creating rules to really help the game be structured as it is today. If it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't have what we have today. Thank you, Mr. Charles. Ha. Now, if we want to go back further, further into history, we can see that ancient China was the first people to create soccer. Back then, they called the game Kuja, which translates into kick the ball. <laughs> I know, who would have thought back then they were kicking around a ball with their feet? <laughs> Groovy. From England, soccer spread like wildfire across the globe, capturing the hearts of people from everywhere. It became more than just a sport, it became a passion that united people from all walks of life. Awesome. Now that all that boring history is out the way, let's learn how to kick some soccer balls, shall we? <laughs> like all the sports we went over, soccer can get really, really complicated. However, we're just going to focus on a few of the fundamentals to get you guys kicking. So, let's do a hypothetical. If there's a blue team and a red team facing against each other, the blue team's job is to get this soccer ball into the red team's net. And the red team's job is to get this soccer ball into the blue team's net. Now, if we're playing a real game, there are going to be goalies on each side. And the goalie's job is to grab any balls that's coming their way and get it away from the net. It's pretty cool to see. Now, during a real soccer game, you're not allowed to use your hands or your arms. The only thing you can use is your upper body, your head, and your legs. Those are the only things you're able to use when trying to get that ball into the net. If you use any of those things, you might be hit with certain penalties. And those penalties can be a yellow card or a red card. And trust me, you don't want a red card. If you get a red card, that means you're out of the game sometimes. So, you can kick the ball into the net, you can use your chest to hit the ball into the net, or you can do what a lot of the athletes do. When a ball is coming their way, they may not have time to use their feet or their upper body. So what they use is their head to either get inside the goal or to pass to another teammate. It's pretty good to see. Now, soccer isn't just about kicking the ball into the net and scoring a goal. It's way more than that. It's about teamwork, friendship, and having a blast with your buddies. Whether you're playing at a big fancy stadium with thousands of people cheering your name, or you're just at an old dusty field kicking the ball around with your buddies. It's all a movie time to have. And let's not forget about the amazing athletes who grace the field with their skills and determination. Those players being Cristino, or Messi, or Paley. All wonderful soccer players to grace their field and really strive to show the people that, man, I really want this, but I'm having a blast while I'm doing it. <laughs> Groovy people. Well, guys, that's all the time we have today learning soccer with me, Fit Fit. Your favorite. <laughs> As always, guys, if you like what you see, make sure to like, subscribe, and tell a groovy dude. I'm sure they'll be happy you did. And as always, little ones, before we go, never stop moving. Unless oh, it's bedtime. Take care. <laughs>